Hello and welcome to another episode of Picturesque-ish. I'm Stan and I'm here with Harry and Jake. Hello. Hello. We'd like to bring to you another story. We would. Shall I tell you a story? Saliki Right. What? What was that? Saliki What does that mean? Uh, shall I tell you a story? In, in, what, in, in what Dutch. Language? Oh. Would you like some Nutella? That means, can I tell you a story? Saliki What Would you like some Nutella? Sting dank genacht. And all in the rover sat in the front of And I said, the other... Saliki what for teller? It may contain nuts. And it nuts. keeps on going again and again. <laughs> Jake. Give me a name. Um, Jake. A name. I demand a name. A name, a name. My kingdom for a name. Is that all you demand? My kingdom for a name. <laughs> Classic quote right there. Uh, In let's... fact, historical quote right there. Henry the uh, Seventh, was it? No. No, it was Battle, uh, it was battle of Hastings. About, that was... Um, Henry the First or something. Battle of Hastings, William the Conqueror. Yeah, but who was fighting against? Dave. The English guy. William Dave, the Conqueror Dave was the, the Conqueror. Face. William the Conqueror was the Conqueror that also known conquered. as William of Normandy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because he was from Normandy. But then he was. Who was he fighting against? Was that Henry? Don't know. Well, there was free. It was a free way battle, wasn't there? It was the Battle of Stamford Bridge beforehand, where he got shot in the eye, <laughs> and then they lost, and then the, the army marched back Ooh. down. Dribble. To Hastings, <laughs> the history, and William of Normandy had the high ground, and then the tired army charged up the hill out of dumbness, and then they all charged down and fucked him up. And he lost his horse and shouted, "My kingdom for a horse! My horse! My horse! A my kingdom! Horse is gone. Wait, a horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! My horse is gone! Right." <laughs> Are you ready for? Are you ready for a name? Yeah, give us a name, Jake. Uh, Can I guess? Hayden Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> it's Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. Okay. Hayden Christensen. Okay. What's old Hayden doing? What's he up to? Um, he's playing table tennis. Oh yeah. Who with? Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> now he'd get thrashed. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing with Natalie Portman. Oh, oh yeah. are they on the set? Or? Um, yeah, they're in Geonosis. One of the planets. Right. <laughs> what one's that? What planet's that? Like, the orange one. Isn't that Mustafa? With the, no, the one with the bugs. Oh, in the second film? Yeah. Right, yeah, I've only ever watched that about three times. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's really awful. The second film that they made, or the second is no, in the second episode two. Episode two. Yeah. The second isn't in that the one of the worst. Trilogy. Sorry. That's the one of the worst. That's the worst. That is Phantom the worst. Menace. I think, is, no, I Phantom Menace Clones. is the worst. I don't know. I think Attack of the Clones is worse than Phantom Menace. Nothing in Phantom Menace like makes any sense. Yeah, I know. But Darth Maul's cool, and there's nothing cool about Attack of the Clones. Apart yeah. from the clones, they're not cool. <laughs> We've seen them before. Yeah, they're stormtroopers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but they're not. Spoilers. They're, they're good. They're good spawn stormtroopers. No, they are the spawn stormtroopers. They become the stormtroopers. Oh right. After okay. Order sixty six, is executed Execute by the Emperor. Order sixty six. Execute Order sixty six. Yeah, so, right, mom. <laughs> so um, they're on. They're on the set. Okay. And they're playing a bit of ping George, pong. George Lucas has wheeled out a ping pong table. Oh yeah, just out of the blue. Yeah, he likes ping pong. Okay. He always keeps one. He always keeps one. <laughs> he he always keeps one in the in the cupboard. Okay. So he's, he's wheeled out on the rocky terrain. In the middle of the Colosseum. Yeah. Okay. And they're just playing table tennis. Mm-hmm. And um Who else is there? Is Samuel Jackson there? Yeah, he's just chilling. He's like um playing on his like uh his Game Boy. Play Rayman. <laughs> Rayman. <laughs> Taking into account what you told me before, I would still love to hear Samuel Jackson say, I've had it with these motherfuckers playing motherfucking ping pong. <laughs> yeah. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it with this Monday to Friday ping pong of oh, this yeah. mother. Wait, what does he say? Mother monkey. Fudging. Monkey. Flinging. Monkey fighting <laughs> snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. Yeah, that's, that, that's it. I've had it with these monkey fighting ping pong players on this Monday to Friday terrain. Coliseum terrain. <laughs> <laughs> terrain. <laughs> so Hayden Christensen and Natalie Portman playing ping pong. Yeah. Mace Windu, Samuel Jackson is watching them. 
playing Rayman on his Game Boy. Yeah. George Lucas is just watching Natalie Portman. <coughs> He's doodle. just smiling blankly. <coughs> wow. Okay. And um, just like that. yeah, that's all he's got. Just like that. Can you hear it? Can you hear that smile? <laughs> no, we can see it. <laughs> if you're only listening to this in audio, I smiled like a paedophile. So George yeah. Lucas is there. A dead smile. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Just a dead smile. I was just saying. That's what, what it was. You, oh, you just what? went. <laughs> a dead smile. Like you're, not, you're not smiling, mate. Smile. I wasn't doing the smile. <laughs> I thought you were. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I was describing what you were doing. No, 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 no. Okay, so George Lucas is just watching. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. So he's not it's important. He's got, got a dead smile. So, so Natalie Portman is like fresh in Hayden Christensen. Sacre bleu. Really? Like she's like 7 nil up. Do you know they don't say that? No, I know. What's that? French people. Because that, that's, that's, that means, oh my God. Oh, sacre bleu. Yeah. Why it not? means sacred blue. Yeah. As in sacred god, as in oh my god. But they don't really say it. Yeah. According it's to popularised by... British people. Yeah. Pop culture. Pop culture, <laughs> you might say. Yeah. <laughs> so, and Natalie Portman's thrashing him, she's yeah. bad. But then Hayden Christensen gets a bit angry and he like smacks it and hits Natalie Portman in the eye. Nice. Oh god. She, like, and it replaces her eyeball. And she now has one ping pong ball and one Her eyeball. eye goes up. Pretty, pretty much. Oh, yeah, she's wow. stuck in there. So she's pretty blind. In one eye. Blind. Half yeah. blind. Yeah. yeah. Some might say 50. Would be the percentage. <laughs> yeah, 50% blind. But, she, but, she did have 20 20 vision, now she has 50 50. 10 10. Okay. So Natalie Portman's blind. Okay. In one eye. Yeah. Is um, she is she mad? Is she she gonna be angry? She's howling Livid. in pain. Howling. Yeah. Howling. <laughs> like that. A bit like that, yeah. yeah. What's Hayden doing? So perhaps a little bit higher pitch. Hayden's like, oh sugar. He pegs it in the other direction. <laughs> oh sugar. <laughs> it's a non swearing set. Yeah. He, he absolutely legs it in the opposite direction. Does he though? He legs it, yeah. He right. goes, oh, and then he absolutely yes. legs it. <laughs> Wait, you can't have a story about a trace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another trace. Okay, oh, yes. so he legs it, and Natalie Portman's just screaming, George Lucas. <laughs> just smiling. <laughs> like he's that. in his own world. It's all unfolding how I wanted it he's to. Wa- he's I'm watching Titanic in his head. And, um, Samuel Jackson, what's he doing? <laughs> he's like... <laughs> Is he mad? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Right. Damn. Damn. Oh, God damn! God damn! God damn! damn that shit! That, that Monday to Friday people person. My goodness. People person. God damn, Hayden! <laughs> God damn it, Hayden! So Hayden, Hayden runs for it and he jumps on one of the speeders because they actually they're actually real. Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's yeah. commonly known. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the same in, as the hoverboards in Back to the Future. They're, yeah, they're yeah, real. but it's it more more like I would say. More similar to the the Batmobile in in the recent Dark Knight. It's a real thing. It's yeah. actually a car that drives. Do you know the real name of that car? What it's no. actually called by the military in those films? No. Jake. Um, we watched that film the other day, like yesterday, literally yesterday. Who's we? Me and Jake and Charlie Warwood. Why? Because it was our set screening, <laughs> and we were the only ones that left. Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, we were the only people that stayed there, though. That's amazing. I know. So. What's it called? They don't even they don't say it, do they? Because he goes it's a tumbler, a tumbler. Oh yeah, I need that. Wait, which one? The flying one? No. no, that's just called the bat. Yeah. The the ground one. Its military name is tumbler. Yeah, I need that. Facts. Interesting. That was well interesting. I'd like to point out that there was an error uh, last week when I was saying how Alan Rickman was Scar. He's not. <laughs> is he not? But it's Jeremy Irons. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Did we did really? that whole thing <laughs> saying that he was Scar. He's yeah. not. <laughs> but anyway, I later found out and thought I should probably say because that's an error that needs to be rectified. Yeah, the commenters will go mad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have been like <laughs> we've had like hundreds. Yeah, I need to, I need to post. Like, All our comments have been negative. Have they? On that video, yeah. Have they? What are you talking about? Because we haven't had any. Oh. <laughs> that's not negative then. That's just neutral. Yeah, you can't just say it's negative. <laughs> I would say no news is good news. No news is good news. No news is publicity. And all publicity is good publicity. Publicity is no news. 
<laughs> what even is new? And skin is 70% dust. <laughs> References. Right. Right. I this forgot is, what we were saying. I feel that like this is peaking. What do I do? It's do the monitor, mate. You can't hear Hello? me at all now. I can hear it. I can't hear it. I can't oh, hear shit. It was bad before. Hello? Yeah, oh. you can hear it, but it's, is it just the monitor? Then? Yeah, it's just the monitor. Yeah. I'm fairly sure. Okay. It. Sure. Jump cut. So, Samuel Jackson is just like, oh my god. George Lucas is just smiling. Hayden Christian is running. He jumped on a real speeder. Yeah. Is Natalie Portman chasing him? Hayden Christian is smiling. No, no George, oh, Lucas. George Lucas is smiling. No, Natalie Portman is yeah, 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 yeah. in too much pain. Is George Lucas just fiddling with his weird neck flap. Yeah. Just going out. <laughs> just sort of giving it He's a dreaming of um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Why? <laughs> Have they ever had any sort of professional No, but he just loves Titanic. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he? he was thinking about Titanic earlier, didn't you? Yeah. Don't you he loves Titanic. He's obsessed with Titanic. Okay. I can show you the world. Yeah, all right. So This is a different song yeah, that's not from a different film. Decade. Different decade, different company, what different film it? style. Aladdin. I yeah. can show you the world. I actually world. prefer the song Aladdin, the first one. Um, Street mm. Red. <laughs> I haven't seen that in ages. Just a little. So, <laughs> Hayden Christensen's running on last week. Natalie Portman. Take you wonder him. by wonder. Anus. So, Natalie Portman, is she chasing him or no, not? No, she's, she's in too much agony. Okay. She's flopping on, flailing on the floor. She's flopping about. Yeah. Hand over your eye like this. Yeah. The other one slapping Is anyone coming to help her? Or are they all on lunch? Um, yeah, a few people. Who? Jar Jar Binks. I'd say most, <laughs> I'd say most people. Binks, most people are like, oh, she's probably just acting. She's an actor. That's what they do. Yeah. Over, overreacting. That actually happened to me. I yeah. was doing a performance in like year ten drama, or year eleven drama, and it was a physical theatre piece. And I fell over. And I broke my arm, and for about a minute, everyone thought I was acting, until I addressed them and said, "I'm not acting. I've broken my arm." <laughs> And they're like, wow, this guy's amazing. Method yeah. actor. He's even saying he's <laughs> But it gave me the self thought, reflexive. Like, it gave me the thought, like, what if <laughs> they were in like a Broadway play and somebody just like broke their ankle and they were like, mm. Mm. everyone would expect him to be a really amazing actor. So they'd just be like, oh, he's so, he's so inspired. inspired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. What if you had like a heart attack or something? I know. That's and right. you were, as you were acting out a scene uh, in which you, you have, have a heart, heart attack, attack yeah. that would be the most unfortunate circumstances yeah. like ever. You just uh, lay there dead for like. Yeah, an hour. and people would be like, "Wow, all right, cut, retake, back to the starting position." He's but still laying the there. Still yeah, there. Especially <laughs> the whole, the whole fit, like it's a play where a guy dies right at the beginning, and he's on stage as like a set piece for the whole rest of the show. <laughs> 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 and he's actually dead. Yeah. <laughs> Doctors come along, cause a death three hours ago. Oh, it's like, that was the beginning like, of the show. Oh dear. You know, in the like first year thing we did last year, mm. when you had a dead man on the table. Mm. Yeah. Imagine if you had died. <laughs> <laughs> no one would have said nothing. <laughs> like an hour. That was great fun. Yeah. That was like the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> Playing a corpse. Playing a corpse. It was great. I, I was like, yeah. I was loving it. I was just like, oh, loving it, loving it, loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So, so Hayden's. Hayden's running. Natalie's flopping. Yeah. Mace Windu's bloody hell in, and George Lucas is smiling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lots Hayden's of adjectival words there. It's good. I like it. And Hay- Hayden's taking the speeder out onto the streets of LA. Hayden? I yeah, thought Hayden right. was just running. No, he's, no, he's on a speeder. He's on a speeder. I thought that was Mace Windu that got that. No, Why Mace would Samuel Jackson go and jump on a speeder? No, Mace Windu's just, like, enjoying the spectacle. So, oh, okay. Yeah, he hasn't done anything wrong. Oh, okay. He's probably no, 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 it's pro- a chase. Hayden. Oh, no. No one's I chasing him. I thought that him. that's what happened. No one's chasing him. No one's chasing him, yeah. No chasing yeah. him yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. He's all right. done a very immature thing by running Until away. Mace gets on a plane. <laughs> full of snakes. <laughs> no way! Full of alien serpents. <laughs> I've had it with these alien serpents. <laughs> <laughs> so... So Hayden, he's, he's down the streets of LA, yeah. weaving, bobbing and weaving, he's giving away all the secrets that they've got real land speeders. Yeah, and he's bobbing, ducking and diving. He's and not then, in LA though. They're still on this other world, aren't they? No, no, it's, it's just no a set. it was a set. It sort of zooms out and shows you that it's like the end of the hills. It's yeah. like a little patch of desert in the middle of. I love that people green. still say the hills is real when it the last scene. Have you seen it? 
No. The last scene, she's like saying a really heartfelt goodbye, and then it yeah. zooms out, and they're on a film set. <laughs> and to me, that says this is all fake. Yeah, mm. you dumb. And but at the same time, it could be like it just took place on a film set. No, because they run back and hug each other and they smile just and took say we're place done. Place on a film set, you know. No, they say goodbye, and yeah. one of them walks off, yeah. and then it pans out, and then she runs back, and they hug. So, what, how would you think that that would be real? I don't understand. That, that's what I mean. That's my point. I don't understand. Why are you arguing with me? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's your input, Jake? Um, it's like Made in Chelsea, isn't it? Yeah. Because like in Made in Chelsea, they do like over-the-shoulder shots. I reviewed Made in Chelsea on my channel. It's in the description. Yeah. No, it's not. It is. <laughs> it is. Definitely is. No, it's not. Well, it's in the comments then. <laughs> what can do about that? Delete, Delete it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's bobbing and weaving for LA. He's yeah. ducking and diving. His long hair's blowing in the wind. He gets it, but then he gets um, caught by a speed gun. Okay. Oh, no. Is it a policeman? Mm. And it just happens this policeman is Eddie Murphy. Right. So, because he's taken up... Axel job. Foley. So he's... Eddie Murphy is preparing for a role as a police was, officer. Was he, yeah. was he Axel Foley? Who was that? I don't think we should bam, make any bam, calls bam, 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 Crazy Frog. No. That's that is from was, uh... Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, he's in Beverly Hills Cop. Axel Foley. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. That's where that song. Yeah, called. they're making Beverly Hills Cop thirteen. <laughs> and he at the same time, the, they're making Attack of the Clones. Yeah. So why isn't it out yet? It is out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or you'll find out why it's not out. All oh, right. Oh. So Eddie Murphy's gonna die. So they skipped <laughs> everything in between because there's only two. Maybe Eddie Murphy did off. die, and that's why he hasn't made a good film since then. It's yeah. just been a double. It's been a just another guy. Don't give it away. <laughs> oh. Just end it here. Spoilers! 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 <laughs> so what's yeah. going to happen? So Murphy jumps in his cop car. And crashes and dies. <laughs> and then turns it on. Oh, really? Okay, what happens next? Starts the engine. Puts his foot down on the throttle. How slow is Hayden Christensen going? He opens the window. <laughs> uh, he's going about 40 kilometres an hour, but it was in a 30 zone, so... Right. So he got caught. That didn't work. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a got sound. stuck down the back of my... Uh, so he's going like 40 in a 30 zone he's going he's going he's going mental he's going, he's going pretty fast to mm. be honest that like, is the equivalent of going like it's like 120 in an 80 zone yeah no <laughs> no it's no, not it's not it's not at all yeah. he's going 40 kilometers in a 30 mile an hour zone so it's like, <laughs> yeah. going slower than the speed limit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? You said he's going 40 kilometers an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone. No, 30 kilometers. <laughs> Why is it for, they're in LA? Yeah, they use kilometers. No, they don't. Do they not? No. Uh, I think they do. Yeah. America does not use kilometers per hour. I think they do. I bet you both are Fiverr right now. I swear, like, we are the only ones that use miles an hour. I bet you both Fiverr right now. Not a bet. I, I just want to have a look and find out. <laughs> Morons. Have a look. Morons? Have a look. This is just another case of where we're talking have about that we have no idea about. Have a look. Have a look. I bet I'm right. <laughs> of course you're not right. I don't bet any money, though. Got a slow phone. Well, my last search was Dave Benson Phillips. So they have they they use miles per hour, but they, they measure their distance in kilometres. No. They measure it in yards. They measure it in miles. Do they? Yeah. They're one of the only few countries in the world that hasn't adopted the metric system. I thought, I thought it was just us. We have, officially. We haven't. We've officially adopted the in metric miles. system. Everything's in miles. Yeah, but this is the weird thing. is we, As a country, we've officially adopted the metric system, but we still do um, height and speed the old way. And distance. Because we say five foot eight. And distance. Huh? Yeah, it's, ma- it's, it's miles per hour. And distance. Yes, yeah. but sometimes. Speed and distance, yeah. But sometimes. No, no, they're I doing kilometers an hour. No, I made, I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> but I did go there once, and I'm pretty sure it was kilometers an hour when I went there, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my mistake. 
<laughs> so yeah, he was doing 40 miles an hour and 30, <laughs> 30 miles an hour. He's not going very fast, considering he wants it's to get away. Good, it's 40 a, miles an hour is, is quite fast. It's not that fast. I can't run that fast, can you? It's a speeder. No, no but the whole point, if I was running from somebody, He's I not wouldn't running. be doing 40 miles an hour. He's getting top speed. <laughs> <laughs> he just picked a really inept vehicle. So Eddie Murphy can literally stroll to his car. Well, yeah. And he does so. So he winds down the window because it's a bit warm in LA. Yeah. And, um. Well, he'd keep it up because he put the air conditioner on. Nah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a wind, kind, wind down the window kind of guy. Okay. He cares about like the myself. environment. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> What, did, what relevance does that have? He just doesn't out. He doesn't doesn't use air conditioning out of principle. Doesn't use it in his home. Doesn't use it in his car. Why? Because it ruins the environment. Why? When you use it in your home, it ruins the environment. What of your home? No. <laughs> the the <laughs> global environment. But he's driving a car. Yeah, but he uses. He doesn't do it at home, so therefore he doesn't do it in the car either. Well, he's a moron then. <laughs> you're already Murphy driving a car about. yeah yeah and he wants to make it even it's more it's like shooting someone to death and saying well I didn't stab him he doesn't he doesn't want to he, he wants to decrease the efficiency of the car even more by opening the window to increase like the air resistance so he can destroy so the environment more, more. Petri- <laughs> <laughs> so he's using more petrol because yeah. <laughs> he really doesn't like the environment he wants to balance out the fact that he doesn't use air conditioning at home so he doesn't use air conditioning in his car either which makes it more Energy. I don't think Eddie Murphy even knows what the environment is. Ax- Axel Foley does. We took it to another Axel environment. Foley does, though. <laughs> it's been totally army environment. <laughs> well, it's 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 not in an environment, right? Yeah. So well, basically, Eddie Murphy is quite weird. It was He's quite incompetent. Okay. So, no, Eddie um, Murphy's not, but Axel Foley is. He's an incompetent. Eddie cop. Murphy is an incompetent cop. Okay. In real life. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So because he doesn't have, he's never had any life. actual in training. In real life, he's <laughs> not a cop. <laughs> Which makes him incompetent. I'm a pretty incompetent cop too. Yeah, I suppose I would be. Yeah. So um, he puts he he thinks he's put it in first, but he actually puts it in reverse. <laughs> right. And um, he slams on the accelerator. Mm-hmm. And he, and he um well smashes into, the car into him. he runs over Dan Castellano. Who? The guy, this is like a star-studded cast right here. <laughs> the guy who plays all the Simpsons characters. Right, okay. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> well, this uh, happened, did it? This all happened? Um, is that why the Simpsons went downhill as well? Yeah. Right. Sure. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> Can't argue with the man's but logic. He is an incompetent cop, so he just doesn't even bother getting back and helping him he just drives off just drives off so he's yeah. murdered a man so yeah one down <laughs> so Hayden Christensen's blinded someone Eddie Murphy's murdered a man and they're both having a high speed he's 40 mile an hour man. chase yeah a high speed 40 mile an hour chase yeah it's like but it's busy it's, it's like this is back o'clock. in the 17th century when like the, the, Axel Foley has the only car everyone Wasn't else is riding the original speed limit in Britain like 9 miles an hour or something well, they originally thought as well that if you went faster than 40 yeah. miles an hour, you, you would explode. Your head would yeah. explode. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in um, Around the World in 80 Days. Yeah. yeah. It's a great film. Is that Steve Coogan? Yeah. Classic. And Jackie Chan. Classic. Jackie Chan. Passport to What? <laughs> Jackie Chan, like, is trying to think of an, al- like, an alibi for his name. They're like, what's your name? What's your name? Oh, and pass- he looks pass- out the window and he sees someone, like, holding a passport and he's like, Passport. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's in that film as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Basically, he plays like a king. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> so, so, what's going to happen now? So they're in a high-speed chase. It's pretty busy. The streets are pretty packed. Um, a lot of stuff kicking off. Yeah. Hayden Christensen's heading to the only thing he knows, and that's the big Hollywood sign. That's, <laughs> that's, that's all he knows. Right. Okay. Of so he's, he's heading up to the big Hollywood sign. How long's he lived in LA? About 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> and his house... Well, he gets, he gets chauffeured he's, to he, the he studio. He lives in, like... He? I don't know which part of LA the Hollywood sign is, but he lives on the opposite side. Hollywood Hills, I imagine. Beverly Hills. Is that the, like... Cop. Is that the, like, east or north? North? I reckon it would be, like, north northeast. That's from yeah. GTA. From Judging by the GTA map, yeah, it's north. It's north, yeah. Northeast. North, middle. Because northwest would be the sea. 
Yeah, I reckon North East. Yeah. I reckon it's like the ocean, even. It's in the north of the, the Pacific. Yeah. The specific, specific, Pacific Ocean. Specific ocean specifically, yeah. the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> specifically, the Pacific Ocean. Oh, I love people that say specifically instead of specifically. Do they say it makes people, me chuckle. Do they say that? Yeah, I've heard yeah, people say that. People Pacifically, as in like the sea. Grandiosely, mahusively. Oh right. Specifically, oh. instead of what they mean though is specifically. Oh really? Is specifically a word? Specific. No, it's specifically a word. Pacific, yeah, because something can be specific, yeah, as in massive, massive. Yeah. So it can be pacifically speaking, massively speaking. Okay, I didn't realize that was a word. I don't know if it is, but penis you could definitely use it as one. Size. What do you mean? I don't know if it is, but you could definitely use that as one. <laughs> Artistic license, <laughs> that's not how it you know? works. Yeah, it Artistic is. Artistic license. Artistic well, license. You, you can make, make up, up words. words. Yeah, that's Shakespeare. Really? This is a glonk. More than triple. This is no longer a microphone. This is a glonk. Yeah, but it already has a name. No, it's a glonk. <laughs> it already has a name. It's a glonk now. No, this is a glonk he's talking about. This yeah, bit. yeah, this little bracket, this special bracket with the bondage is a glonk. So any type of bondage is, is glonk. I'm into glonk myself. Are you? No, that, that, <laughs> just this, this specific sound. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a book by Douglas Adams and I think Stephen Fry. Yeah. It's just a dictionary of words for things that needed words that don't at the moment. Oh, really? And it's just they just made up a load of words That's and cool. said what they are. Like, well, there's the no feeling word for you get the back of the knee, when you, when you, what? There's no word for the back of the knee. No, I think they had a name for that. I don't, can't remember what it was. But probably like the knee or the glee or something like that. They just oh, made up a word. load of words. Oh, a glonk is a flannel. <laughs> the what? ink. A glonk is a flannel. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got a flannel book. That's a shame, isn't it? Really? I was hoping we could just continuously call our microphone a glonk. That's probably where you got it from. What about splonk? <laughs> what about... Splonk is a spam and it's Splonk! This is a Splonk. What's going on there? Hey, we're all here with our Splonk. <laughs> we're talking about a story. So what's happening now? He's heading up to Hollywood Hills. Yeah, so he's heading up to Hollywood Hills. He's going up to Vinewood Hills. You might call him Be- Bollywood. Uh, no, not Bollywood. Uh, Beverly Hills, even. Yeah. Eddie Murphy's struggling because he's like grinding the gears because he just, he's, in, he's just incapable <laughs> of doing anything. And they've given him a manual. He's an yeah. absolute... He's, he's, like, he's, like, he's, like, he's like reading the manual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's reading the manual. He's for, reading the manual. The manual. For his manual. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Manualception. Yeah. So um, he's like trying to drive. Yeah. Trying to drive. Read the manual. Jake does it. actually drive. Yeah. And like, and you're still doing that. So I'd hate to get in a car with you. So doing what? You're going like, like that. What's that? What's up there? Just the um the f- the mirror. Sun, what mirror? The sun, the sun that's book. there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he's in America. Oh yeah, be yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So I apologise. I've been a fool. <laughs> that's really Fuck weird. That. <laughs> so I was expecting you to kiss my hand. Okay. <laughs> so they're driving up to. I've been uh, a fool. The Hollywood Hills. I've been a fool. So they're driving up to Vinewood Hills. Vinewood. Yeah. That's, not, that's, not GTA. GTA. that's where they make vines now. Yeah. GTA reference. I've got a question. Did you ever play Alain Noir? Yeah. Is it called Vinewood in that as well? I don't have to, I don't I'm not sure. Should you have a look on Google Maps? I thought you were about to say I don't have G- <laughs> I don't, I don't have what? I thought you were about to say I don't have Alain Noir. Oh right. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I, like, yes. to you? <laughs> I think it is that called no Vinewood. That's, Let's that's see. Let's continue the story, I'll, I'll that's Google. Cheap. I can't continue it. It's Search paused. map. Vinewood L A. CA. I never finished it though. It's a good game. Though. Vinewood Community Correction, Los Angeles. You know Vinewood's not a real thing. There What's, is a place called Vinewood called? Community Correction in L- in in LA, so it is sort of a thing. But it, it, it was called Vinewood Land, wasn't it? It would have been. I don't know. Leave a comment telling us. <laughs> <laughs> love Who knows if that's going to so be included? So what's <laughs> happening now? So. Yeah, so Eddie Murphy's lagging behind a bit, even though he's only going. He's really struggling. Yeah. He's driving like Rocky. Yeah, and there's, there's like smoke billowing out of the okay. bonnet. And Hayden Christian is Hayden making Christian's, headway, or yeah, he's making a bit of headway. He's he's up to the to the sign. He's he's parked the speeder, and he's just gone and he's hidden the um, H for Hayden. He's hidden it. He's stolen the H. No, no, he's hid in it. Like oh, in he's hidden it. in it. Sorry, yeah. right. Because I think it's hollow. Is it? Oh, no, I don't think it is. <laughs> you know what's close to Beverly Hills? Bel Air. Yeah. 
could we could add a couple more stars to our story. <laughs> what is in the the fresh in <laughs> West Philadelphia? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So, is anybody else hanging around the Hollywood sign? Um, he gets there, and it just so happens that Will Smith is there smoking a doobie. Is that happening? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know? So he joins in with... He's not smoking a doobie, though. He's smoking crack. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> My mistake. I, I thought I thought he was a bit of a... That's... <laughs> we have a new title. Will Smith smoke crack. Uh, Hollywood sign. Let's see how that goes down. <laughs> Guess views. Yeah. So Sorry was, if you clicked on this thinking Will Smith was going to be smoking crack. They awesome. wouldn't have got this far, but anyway. No. <laughs> they might have skipped. <laughs> <laughs> to see if Will Smith does, yeah. does ever smoke crack. We yeah. don't know if he does, but it's libelous. Right. They might we do. actually really respect Will Smith. He's yeah. a great guy. I don't know. I've never met him. He seems like a really stand-up guy, you know. Stand-up comedian. Well, yeah, that too, but stand-up dude, you know. Yeah. Is he a stand-up comedian? Probably. Yeah. He's a comedian. I'm sure he's done stand-up at some point. Okay. Do you want me to Google that for you? No. Let me Google that we for you. We should ban Google from the set. Yeah. From this moment Damn on, you. Google is banned. So if we are ill-informed, that is why. We <laughs> need to add all these things to our introduction. Okay. The show where Google is banned. So, what's going down now? So Hayden's like, oh. Hello, how's, 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 how's the hanging wheel? He's like... Off. <laughs> he's like he's like bugging out a bit. He's so angry. Yeah, and Hayden's like, oh, sorry, sorry, mate. So he he just goes on and continues to hide in the H. Will Smith just is that Will Smith written off out of the story? Um, he might can't ask that. Okay, sorry, I don't want to spoil the end. So, so um, <laughs> so so Eddie Murphy is slowly making his way up the hill. I'm just I think it's just sort of like a, a road. And then you can just pull it, and then the sign, the sign's there. Okay. So, so Eddie Murphy drives up and pulls in, <laughs> gets yeah. out of his car. Hayden Christensen is an absolute idiot. Okay. And he spots him straight away. He's like peeking behind, like you know, this, this, the classic, like, oh, <laughs> he's, he's done that. Okay. So Eddie Murphy's like the classic peekaboo. If you can't see that. Yeah. So Eddie, Eddie Murphy's heading over. Classic peekaboo. Yeah. Um, he's like. Hayden, Hayden, come here, you little rascal. They, they sort of, you little rascal. <laughs> yeah. They sort of. They've... Eddie Murphy doesn't even know what Hayden's done. All he's seen him doing is ten miles an hour exactly. over the speed limit. So he's chased him all the way from and he's Beverly now Hills trespassing on through Bel Air to the Hollywood Hills sign. Sign. Yeah. What's it called? The Hollywood sign. Yeah, I think so. You should say Hollywood Land. Yeah, the Hollywood Land still. Like, sign. A hurricane. I don't know. It's a good Hurricanes. Guess. I think uh, they took it down because. Why would they do that? Because it's no longer called Hollywood Land. No, but you'd think they wouldn't. Now that we don't have Google, we're free to just guess. Like, would they? I if bet they, if they I had a sign, by an if I had a sign or a hurricane that was like Disneyland World. Yeah. And then people well, start. You would never have a, kept on talking about it. You would never Disneyland. have a sign called Disneyland World because Land and World are two. Well, Hollywood is now synonymous with the land that it occupies. So why would you say Hollywood Land Land? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say Disneyland World because land implies an area of space. Or Disney as World does Land. World. What about Disney but Hollywood World? Hollywood does not Disney imply World space. Land would make sense because it's the Disney World land. It's the land of Disney World. No, it's Disney World. Because Disney World is like a fancy Wait, are world. Are you saying it's called Disney World Land? No, but if it, if it <laughs> was. Not. If it was. It's Disney and then, Huh? It's Disneyland. Isn't yeah, it? but well, if I had a sign California that was like Disney, Disney World Land, okay, and then people were, uh, well, we don't want to call it Disney World Land. That's that's ridiculous. I'm just mm. going to start calling it Disney World or Disneyland or whatever. Then I would change the sign. So people are like, they're looking for a sign for Disney World Land, and they they or they they're looking for a sign for Disneyland. They pass one that says Disney World Land and think, oh, it's not that one. Let's find another one. I guarantee you, it's destroyed by some sort of natural disaster. What, Disney World? We'll find no, out next week. Hollywood Land. We'll find out no. next week. What, in my story? Yeah, no! Oh. <laughs> this Hollywood Land sign, it used, the Hollywood sign, you say Hollywood Land. Yeah. And I think that it was destroyed, the land Earthquake. part was destroyed by something. But he thinks that they thought Hollywood <laughs> Land sounds dumb, so they took down the land. Mm. Hollywood the same land. reason they straightened up the tower, Leaning Tower of Pisa, isn't it? 
straightened up. I've been there. It's, it's, not, it's not straight. No, I know. It was a joke. And there's a big queue, so we didn't go in. <laughs> Same reason I straightened up. Can your... you go in? Um, I think that's Sexual what we were queuing for. Yeah, I think you can go in. Yeah, but they don't. It's they, don't really... allow, they don't allow too many people because they yeah, can stand yeah, yeah. at the end of the. They've been screwing with it, haven't they? It was all scaffolded. Yeah. Up. Well, they're trying to make it so it won't go any worse because it will. Because it is slowly getting yeah. worse. I mean, it's only at three degrees now, but it, it will get more. And then once. Why it gets do you beyond, know that? Once it gets beyond like three point five. It Why do you know it's over. at three degrees? Because general knowledge, mate. Imagine if it fell over. That'd be massive news. It'd be worse it? than nine eleven. Yeah. It would be massive news. Imagine <laughs> if you just woke up, right, and they were like, and you looked on your phone and it was like, the Tower, tower Pisa Pisa's fallen is now over. the fallen Tower Pizza. I wouldn't care. I'd care. It I'd used to be, be like... I used to really care about that, though, and, and lots of other things that I now don't. Really? You well, used to really, really care as about in, it? Really, as in, like, it was intriguing. Like, why is it so leaning? Like, that's so cool. It's so leaning. Much it's so leaning. so quirky. <laughs> when I build my house, it's going to be leaning, so I can be, like, the leaning house of Jake. In in like year seven. Stan, sorry, even. <laughs> in like year seven art we had to like make a castle out of it's no um, And yours was so bad that it, it became leaning, but then he said, Well actually yeah, it's leaning so, tower pizza. So I did lean, <laughs> most people just did castle bars like I'm gonna do lean tower pizza. But it turned out it leaned about 40, 40 degrees. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got what? it at home with it. Why like, is it leaning? Do they build it on sand or something? Yeah. Yeah. Is that true? Well not sand, but what soft ground. Clay. What do you mean? What a guess! It's like the only logical thing that would ever no. happened. Oh yeah, they, 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 they built it, and then some they people had a dwarf thought they built in one side and a normal size bloke doing no, the other. No, actually, what happened was that they decided to build it straight, and then someone like lassoed it back in the midwestern times. He went on on a holiday to. Um, he tied his horse up. To Greece, and then he, no, no, no. Here's what, here's what happened. 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 And he lassoed it to the top and just like sort of pulled it, and it tipped, and then he, then he got tired because it was it's pretty heavy moving it. You're close. Tower. And so he died. You're close, but you're wrong. <laughs> what actually happened was a guy wanted to go to the pizza restaurant nearby, so he lassoed his horse onto the, onto the just called the Tower of Pisa, and then the horse saw a female horse and started to get the horn. So he's like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. So he's pulling, trying to get to this female horse, and then he's pulling, then it started to lean, and then the ropes pulled his head off. And his body went and... So he effectively hung yeah. himself. Yeah. <laughs> without hanging. That's if you Google that, tragedy must, of the Leaning Tower of Pisa... He must have liked that female horse a lot. <laughs> yeah, he did. Huh. She was shaking it. I'm not questioning. Actually, it's been leaning for a long time. Because Archime- yeah. Archimedes yeah. dropped some cannonballs off it. To measure... And like, that was like BC sometime. 127 BC or something like that. Well, he thought it was a really attractive horse. It turned out it was Sarah Jessica Parker in her underwear. Oh, Which really? is about as good for a horse, really. Yeah. I mean, it's probably better than you're ever going to get. <laughs> so, what's happening? <laughs> I've completely forgotten. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, so Eddie, Eddie Murphy's just got there, and he's like, yeah, he was doing the classic he's gonna peekaboo. He's going to give him a ticket. Found him instantly. So he's he's walking over. Uh, he he doesn't see Will Smith. Will Smith's like hiding under like one of the O's. It's just like sort of smoking crack in the bush. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, so but as he approaches, this story hey, is entirely fictitious, and any resemblance to real life is entirely uh, coincidental. It's not. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith smoked crack. So, Every day. Um. So, as as he's approaching Hayden, yeah, he gets a. Uh, Sort of taser. No, he gets a f- not, uh, No, <laughs> the, the, walkie, the walkie-talkie starts going off. Right. Okay. He gets a call. And George Lucas is like, gets a call. Yeah. Hey, yo, have you seen? Have you seen Anakin? St- I mean, Hayden anywhere? No, no. It's from the police department. Oh, is it from the LAPD? <laughs> they're oh, like, okay. yeah. They're like, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Hayden Christensen on the loose after grievous after, bodily, grievous, after, after grievous bodily harm <laughs> right. after grievous bodily harm they're using British <laughs> after grievous British bodily law. harm British law <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's an American they just have a salt in America is it what about pepper a salt what <laughs> 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 So he's like... He's being done for GBH. Yeah. 
there's been an APB put out for him. Yeah, so he, so he like, he's like... All points bulletin, mate. Check your packs. <laughs> so he, he's like, Hayden, I'm going to have to arrest you. This is pretty serious. And then Will Smith, like, bursts out of the bush, like, out of, off his face, like, you... What Natalie Portman? <laughs> <laughs> and, and oh, then, he's livid. And Eddie Murphy's like, "What's going on?" And in the moment of confusion, Hayden pulls out the working lightsaber. Okay, and the like, real one. S- stabs Eddie Murphy, and then. Oh, he said the working lightsaber. As yeah. if you mentioned it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> he did. I, I might have done. Right. Okay. He stabs Eddie Murphy, and then chops Will Smith's arm off. Oh no! Wow. And then he's like, oh, God. So Eddie Murphy's dead, and Will Smith has lost an arm. Yeah. Is this before or after he had to go and live in Bel Air? Um, this is during. During? What so do you mean? During, <laughs> well, during the, the change. How early did they during, start making no, Attack after. of the Clones? After, right. 2000. It might, it's after, Jake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he this said is during. He, this is during. after, wait, it's after Fresh Prince, but before Independence Day. So he thinks that he's not going to make any more money, so that's why he's turned to crack. Yeah. So, um, so Hayden Christensen's like, oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? The classic Hayden the classic line, quote. Yeah. How old is Hayden at this what point? What have I done? Um, what yeah, have he's about I 20s. 20s, yeah, I'm not sure really. Early 20s? Early 20s, I'd say. Because he's playing like a 14 year old or something. Isn't he? What have I done? Like, like, he's playing like a 20 year old. Because it's like 10 years later. Uh, 10 years later. Do you want to uh, shut the... Yeah. Oh, let me finish my goddamn story. <laughs> I saw him killing younglings. Yeah. <laughs> What's a young... Oh, baby and children. I love that they still call it a baby as well. They say, I'm having a baby. When Padme's pregnant. Oh, right. I'm having a baby. But then apparently after it's a baby, it's a youngling. Yeah. Well, no, What's youngling's youngling? not a baby. It would have been funny. a toddler. Yeah. But it would have been funny if they were like, oh, we're having a youngling. Yeah. <laughs> What's a youngling? It's just a kid. Yeah, they call it younglings. He killed Anakin young goes... I thought it was in the same universe as like the our universe. What's going on? It is, but it's a long time ago. Uh, it is a galaxy far away as well, actually. Yeah. yeah. Except it has Earth. Does it? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. They don't go to Earth. Does it not? No. no. What am I thinking Have you ever watched Star Wars before? <laughs> no, no, I have, but it's just been a long, What planet long, are you thinking time. of? Naboo. It's a bit not like... Naboo. It would be... Coruscant? I'm thinking of um, Battlestar Galactica. Oh. Where, they, where they have Earth, but they don't really go back to A TV show. Uh, <laughs> an- another science fiction. <laughs> they all merge into one for me, I'm sorry. Anything sorry. with a spaceship. Space balls, yeah. Oh, Space jam. <laughs> Space jam. That has That's Earth in it. Oh, Jinx that is such an awful film. Jacob Pop Denver. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. Stan Up Denver. Oh, you. yeah. What's going on? Why are we saying I, your name? Because I jinxed him. Ah, he can't talk. But I thought I'd say his name because I thought I'd ruin the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I really contributed yeah, But he that said... Um, Unless you won that left there. you got to let me finish my story. I might do. Sorry, yeah, carry on. So, so Hayden Christensen's like, what the hell are you doing? What you, just get your face out of the organic. audience. Make it <laughs> Don't make it longer for the sake of it. So, so what's going on? So Hayden is panicking. Panicking. Eddie Murphy's dead. You Wilson. mean Anakin? Panic, panic oh! Skywalker. <laughs> so. Oh my god. Eddie Murphy's dead. Will Smith's high on crack. And. Natalie also... Portman's got one eye. George Lucas is playing with his neck fat. Yeah. Makes and Anakin is now Sam crying Adams. over the lost arm of Will Smith. He's like, what oh my done? baby! What have I done? So he starts, he starts sort of backing away. What have I done? But then. Suddenly. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, he gets dun, hit by Eddie Murphy's dun. police car because Eddie Murphy's an idiot and didn't put a handbrake on. Oh, no. <laughs> he parked up the hill and so now it's rolling it's back. Rolling yeah. Yeah. It's rolling down towards... And it's going to take out the Hollywood land. It's, it's going to take, take out the land part. That is why. <laughs> oh, we didn't know before, but God. now we do. So it takes out... Well, no. It just takes out Hayden. Okay. And also it takes Forget out... Forget that then. <laughs> scratch that. And it also takes out um, Demi Moore's house. Right. No way. Is Ashton Kutcher there yet? Yeah. One little tiny car takes out an entire mansion. Yep. Yep. Wow. That's what, did it, did that's it what happens when you don't to, leave the handbrake on. Just happened to run into like the. Have gas you ever not tanks. left the handbrake on? It's a dangerous, dangerous thing. I have. I, like every single time I've driven a car so far, I've left the handbrake off. That's not good. 
I haven't driven a car yet, so. <laughs> so, no so that's the end of my story. <laughs> he, he is magic. He, he gets killed, by the way. I love it. So what happens to Natalie? She's still just, just crying. Got one eye. Yeah. She goes they still hospital. think that she's acting. If she's like, she's won several Oscars. This is several years later. She's still just riding on the floor. Yeah. She's been winning Oscars like left, right, center. Like great acting, great method acting. But, but now they're sort of like you can only, actor, really, you can only really play actress. one role, and that's one of someone who's lost an eye. But she's really good at it. If you look yeah. really closely, she does have a glass eye. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, quick a, that's fun actually fact. not a glass eye. It's just a ping pong ball that's been painted really well. <laughs> <laughs> and in in in, in Star Wars episode three, they don't decay, isn't it? They Stop they just use past footage of Anakin Skywalker. That's why it's, it's all so, archive. Yeah, it's all archive footage. That's why it's quite bad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so just a quick fun fact before we perform. Mm-hmm. In the social network, there's a line where they say. Uh, Mark was the biggest thing on campus that included two future Olympians, blah, 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 and a movie star. Natalie Portman was that movie star. Right. So we're going to perform for you. <laughs> Thanks. Let's perform the script. Hello and welcome back to the final section of Picture Eskish. We are going to be performing for you today... Episode number six, Return of the Bad Eye. Bad Eye. On the set of Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones, Natalie Portman and Hayden Christensen are taking a much needed break from their shoot. The two are playing ping pong on a table that was wheeled out by George Lucas. George Lucas is a fan of ping pong, you see. He really enjoys it. So he always keeps a table in the cupboard. Samuel Jackson is looking on. With less of a judgmental stare, but more of an inquisitive stare of confusion. He's playing Rayman on his Game Boy. What does that sound like? I don't think Jake's played a video game since like 1978. Yeah. They don't make that much sound. <laughs> the only one I've played is like <laughs> Game Boys don't really make any sound. No. Monster Kill. That's the only game I've played recently. What's Monster Kill? Headshot. Monster Kill. Ludicrous Kill. Rampage. Was this Quake or something? Counter Strike. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got to put my narrator voice back on now. Sorry. Natalie Portman is winning the game. Seven. <laughs> Wait, that, is that what she said? Oh no, that's not what she said. <laughs> Natalie Portman is winning the game. Suck on that, Hayden. <laughs> Seven, love. Hayden is becoming increasingly angry. I hate this. <laughs> I hate losing to this. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I thought he was like 20, not 50. Yeah, but he's got... I hate losing to this. That's how he speaks. The he? boar, sort of. almost in slow motion, came towards Hayden. <laughs> and he knew he had the opportunity to smash it with the force of a thousand elephants. <laughs> the ball smashed across the table, striking Natalie Portman in the eye, pushing her eye back into her skull and replacing itself in her socket. She was understandably upset. Hayden chose his options, decided, thought about his options. <laughs> He could stay and try and help, or he could run like a coward. He chose the latter. Samuel Jackson looked up from his game for only a moment and said, Hot damn! (laughs) George Lucas, on the other hand, made no such comment. He stood there, fiddling his neck fat. Hayden Christensen sprinted into the props room and stole a speeder. One of the props ladies said to him, (laughs) Hayden, what are you doing? (laughs) But Hayden was already gone. He was bolting down the streets of LA, weaving in and out of cars, changing his direction on a whim. He sped past Eddie Murphy, who said... 40 and a 30? (laughs) God damn! 
you see Eddie Murphy was preparing for a role as a police officer, so he was sitting in his car pretending to be a police officer. For some reason, they've given him a manual car, but he can't drive a manual car, you see. So as he put his foot down to try and drive, he slammed backwards into... (laughs) (laughs) Killing him (laughs) instantly. Just slammed backwards into dough. Eddie Murphy made every attempt he could to try and speed up after Hayden, trying to slam the car into gear. He just couldn't manage it. Who's that? <laughs> the grinding of the gears. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> he's making a shitload of noise. <laughs> You're just doing like the crazy fog over and over. No, that's Axel Foley. All oh, right. This is the soundtrack so of Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. I didn't know that's what it was. Driving, he's redlining all the way down the LA freeway in first gear. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hayden decides he's going to head up to the Hollywood sign. <laughs> Meanwhile, makes it a lot easier. Meanwhile, Hayden decides he's going to head up to the Hollywood sign. He thought and paused for a moment before he spoke. He knew his words would be meaningful in this moment as they may define him for the rest of his days. I've lived here for 20 years. The Hollywood sign, that's where I'll go. Oh, is this Anakin? Yeah. yeah. I it was, oh, crap. If you were listening, instead of just making a racket. <laughs> Literally a racket. <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> Hayden sped up. Reaching the Hollywood sign in no time, he noticed a small man sitting in the bushes. He called out to him. Will Smith, is that you? (laughs) Will Smith appeared from behind the bushes, still dressed in his Fresh Prince costume, smoking crack. What the (laughs) f***? Clearly Will Smith was out of his damn mind. Hayden Christensen responded with a loud... (laughs) <laughs> Not a lot happens in this story. <laughs> Suddenly, Eddie Murphy arrived on the scene. <laughs> Comma, on the scene. <laughs> Bringing with him his racket. <laughs> his personal... <laughs> his big noisemaker. There he is. <laughs> Eddie Murphy ran down to Hayden Christensen and startled him. Hayden, out of... What is going on? (laughs) Hayden Christensen, you're under arrest. Hayden panicked and out of pure instinct drew his lightsaber. (laughs) No, he didn't. Whoops, I mean, um, <laughs> I was going to get out my phone. Meanwhile. <laughs> M- meanwhile. Yeah. What's this? Hello, Eddie, is that you? Oh. It's the LAPD. <laughs> uh, Hayden Christensen is on the run after uh, assaulting Natalie Portman. <laughs> Eddie Murphy was struck by, sh- struck by the news on his radio. Hayden. Mostly struck because he didn't realise that he was actually like in cahoots with the actual LAPD. He's just an actor. <laughs> but anyway. Uh. <laughs> hey. You hit Nellie Portman in the eye. <laughs> Hayden drew his lightsaber <laughs> and struck down Eddie Murphy. <laughs> the impact of what he's done immediately hit him and he exclaimed... Uh, the the women and children. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Ah. He's gone from fifty years old to twelve. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen that scene? What have I done? What have I done? This is why you should never be an actor ever. <laughs> <laughs> So Hayden was mourning, and Will Smith was screaming. Oh 
my god! What the ah! <laughs> Will Smith had his arm cut off by Hayden Christensen. Hayden Christensen was now in a rampage. He was screaming for his mother. <laughs> Shmee! <laughs> In case you miss that, Jacob. I'll never leave you, Mom. Anakin's mom is called Shmi Skywalker. <laughs> I'll come and get you, Mom. Shmi. 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 Her name is Shmi. It's quite funny. <laughs> I didn't think it was this funny. Like, <laughs> it's just such a dumb name. <laughs> Shmi. Well, yeah, Shmi? Uh... <laughs> Do you mean Shmi? <laughs> Shoo. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. Back in the room, come on. Mm-hmm. Oh. All of a sudden, Eddie Murphy, <laughs> Eddie Murphy's car began to roll down the hill towards Hayden. How the hell? How the bloody hell do I do sound effects for that? I don't know, mate. <laughs> Your sound effects have been shit out so far. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. They struck Hayden. The car barreled down the mountain, smashing into Demi Moore's house and causing an explosion of immeasurable magnitude. The end. Thanks for listening to this episode of Picturesque. We have been Stan, myself, Harry, and Jake, and we were playing the various sound effects, the narrator, and everyone else. (laughs) Subscribe, like, share, favorite. All the good stuff. All of that, please. Revine. Or else we will find you. Check the description out because there's lots of information in there. Lots of stuff. Jake, take us out. Bam! (laughs) Ah, Jesus. (laughs) See you next week on Picture Squish. Bye. Goodbye.